Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have an explosive new update to a UFO sighting that we discussed first back in October of last year after a piece of footage, one of three, that was released and said to have been taken from an F-18's infrared camera back in 2004 after a mysterious, what they called a tic-tac-shaped object, displaying otherworldly characteristics, incredible speeds to the point where it was able to outrun the F-18s that were tracking it, and now we have this new bombshell Pentagon report that has just come to light, going into further detail about how this quote, supersonic Tic Tac UFO actually stalked this US aircraft carrier for days before finally vanishing into thin air where not only one, but two different aircraft carriers captured this thing on radar and tracked it. First, the USS Nimitz, uh, as well as a few minutes later, the USS Princeton then reported the radar spot had reappeared some 60 miles away, moving at supersonic speeds. So before we go further into this new Pentagon report, and just to give you a basic rundown of what happened during this sighting, uh, it was a sunny day in November of 2004 off the coast of San Diego, where the USS Nimitz battle group encountered a technology beyond anything known to Earth. It was a mysterious aircraft that was said to be around 45 feet long and shaped like a Tic Tac or a Tylenol capsule, basically like you would think of an oblong white uh, pill capsule. And so the object came down and hovered and maneuvered for hours, defying the F-18 sent to intercept it. The investigation by the U.S. Navy of the incident was hushed up, and the only public mention was in a little-known aviation magazine read by pilots. The craft was referred to as an AAV, or an Anomalous Aerial Vehicle, and multiple sightings of such craft were observed over a number of days leading up to the Nimitz incident. It was said that a USO, or an unidentified submerged object, in other words, a UFO that comes out of the water, was seen underneath the UFO at one point where it looked to be docking with the object on the water before darting off at an enormous speed. And it's said that the AAV's unknown technology was captured in this leaked footage. Now, what I can say is that this footage has been corroborated by men who were there, and I will post a link to an article down in the video description where you can read more about the story. And then we have an official Navy document from 2004 that goes into detail about just what happened during this incident. And I will post the PDF version to this also down below. But just a few things described during the encounter was that apparently for days, the USS Nimitz radar system had been detecting these unknown vehicles coming down from above their radar range from altitudes at around 80,000 feet and above. And so they sent out these F-18s whose call sign at the time was, quote, Fast Eagle. And so the jets sighted the airborne contact, as they called it, which appeared to be, quote, capsule-shaped, wingless, mobile, white, oblong, pill-shaped, 25 to 45 feet in length, no visible markings or glass. And so now, leading up to today, we now have this leaked report that was originally obtained by Las Vegas' KLAS TV station, which tells how the USS Princeton had had multiple radar contacts with this AAV, where the radar caught the object hovering at around 60,000 feet before nosediving to the ocean surface in a matter of seconds. And that's when it appeared two days later, and uh, the F-18s were sent out. They were scrambled to intercept it, uh, but the object had, quote, turned itself invisible, according to the pilots. The new report also goes on to state that uh, although the object had disappeared, they were still able to detect it as it was triggering a, quote, circular disturbance in the water about 50 to 100 meters in diameter. 
It also says that an E-2C Hawkeye surveillance plane that was in the area had managed to detect the object but was unable to lock on, suggesting that it was able to dodge radar. It also adds that the craft matches no known aircraft or air vehicle currently in inventory of the United States or any foreign nation. And so uh, I'll put the link to the PDF of this document, but in it, it goes on to describe how back in 2004, uh, the Nimitz Carrier Strike Group, which was operating off the west coast of the United States, uh, on several occasions detected these multiple anomalous aerial vehicles uh, operating in and around the vicinity of the aircraft carrier. So there were multiple sightings back in 2004, not just this one. And um, in the article here, as you're seeing, it lists off some key assessments about the object. The first was that the vehicle, the AAV, was no known aircraft or vehicle, as we just stated, uh, that it exhibited advanced low observable characteristics at multiple radar bands, rendering US radar-based engagement capabilities ineffective. The AAV exhibited advanced aerodynamic performance with no visible control surfaces and no visible means to generate lift. Uh, so, you know, we're talking anti-gravity here. This object had nothing on it like a plane where you have to have lift and drag and things of that nature. This object didn't have it. Uh, the object exhibited advanced propulsion capability by demonstrating the ability to remain stationary with little to no variation in altitude transitioning to horizontal or vertical velocities far greater than any known aerial vehicle with little to no visible signature. The object possibly demonstrated the ability to cloak or become invisible to the human eye or human observation. It also demonstrated a highly advanced capability to operate under sea, completely undetected by our most advanced sensors. I mean, so, I mean, just from this little list here, I think it's safe to say that this, whatever this object was, it wasn't one of ours. I mean, again, shaped like a tic-tac, no visible markings on the outside, no windows, nothing that would lead us to believe that it was man-made, uh, the ability to cloak itself, to dodge radar, to operate under the ocean water undetected. I mean, this is just, um, you know, this is just some of this bombshell info we've been waiting for, people. And you know, it's something that has come straight from the horse's mouth, not just me here on YouTube telling you guys that these things are real, but from the actual source, from the people who were there, who were doing this training exercise and witnessed these objects on multiple occasions. And so, yeah, I mean, this is truly explosive, and um, you guys are going to have to go over and read um, the document. It's about 13 pages long. It goes into extreme detail about the object, what it did from minute to minute, moment to moment. They watched one of the objects coming up from the ocean, uh, and reading from the report here, it reminded them of something rapidly submerging from the surface, like a, like a submarine or a ship sinking. So the object would come up and then go back down, and you would see this massive swell of water being moved around and displaced from the object as it went down. You know, we, we've spoken many times on this channel about our oceans and how truly mysterious they are. Uh, we talk about the fact that only 10% of our oceans have ever been explored by mankind. 10%, okay? So that's 90% of our oceans. We've never been there. We don't know what's down there. We've, we've done no investigations. And I've said many times that, you know, you can forget space. We have an alien world right here on the planet within our oceans, where on countless occasions, these unidentified objects have been seen coming up, blasting out of the water, moving or glowing underneath the water by ships and airplanes flying ahead, as well as objects coming down from space, blasting down into the water. And so we very well may have cities down there in any part of our oceans that we've we've never visited, we've never been. We don't know what's down there. Uh, you know, th there could literally be bases for these things. I mean, we've certainly seen evidence here these things are, are entering our oceans for a reason and exiting. 
But uh, yeah, I will uh, jump off here. I'll let you guys read this document. It truly is amazing. And I think it once again cements the fact that I've repeated over and over uh, many times in the face of ridicule from our, our skeptics or those who just think this is some big fairy tale and we're all wearing tinfoil hats. This phenomenon is real. I've said it from day one. And never once did I falter in that belief or did I say to myself, you know what, maybe this, maybe some of these people are right. Maybe this is all just in our heads. We're connecting dots that aren't there. This is evidence, people. And I've seen enough evidence on the channel, enough videos, enough eyewitness accounts to know that this phenomenon is very real. The government has had programs in place for years studying this phenomenon. So don't delude yourself. We are not alone, and we have never been alone, and we're seeing more signs of that every day. So, you know, this is the type of story we love here on Secure Team, so tell me what you guys think down below. As always, stay tuned. I've got, you know, new videos in the works. If I, if I get any more information about this, rest assured I'll post on it. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for stopping by once again. Let's keep up the good fight for disclosure, and I will see you all back in just a bit.